We're going to bring in Jess right now for this week's lesson in how to eat better. Hot for day. Welcome back to the Boca Box. This is the hot spot. And my name is Jess Rosario. I am the owner and nutrition professional here at the Boca Box. You know, when we start talking about going on a diet or just even trying to eat healthy, one of the biggest problems people face is that they think that they need to start cutting food out of their new diet or their new meal plan. But that's far from the truth. A lot of times, the first step is not actually taking things away from what you're eating, but taking a look at what you're eating in general and adding things to that. For instance, if you are eating the standard tomorrow diet, there's usually rice or carbohydrate, rice and protein. So that's gonna be either white or red rice and then chicken or steak or whatever it is. And so we're lacking vegetables. And so the first step to starting to eat clean is to just add in a lot of vegetables. And that's what we do here at the Boca Box. Besides just adding things in, you don't need to start cutting things out of your diet. Here at the Boca Box, we do a lot of substitutions of your of the things that we are used to eating, but we just substitute it for healthier options. Every day, we're gonna have to think about what we're gonna eat, where we're gonna go to eat, what we're gonna cook, and a lot of times, we just have to think about, okay, what is the better option for us? How do I make my meals a little bit healthier? I'm gonna give you some tips that we do here just to make our meals a little bit healthier, but not in the sense where you're feeling like you're on a diet and you feel restrictive. So one of the biggest things that we do is we always start with, okay, we want to make our meal healthier, so we're going to substitute our oils. Now, if you're using vegetable oil, stop that, right? A better heart healthy oil, which a lot of people have at home, is usually canola oil, which is better than just regular vegetable oil, or we take it the extra step further and we use olive oil. So olive oil um, and canola, canola oil. But if we're looking at oils in a nutritional sense, I would always go with olive oil just because it's better for us nutritionally. The next thing a lot of people need to try and focus on when trying to eat healthier is just increasing fiber content. On Guam, the staple is white rice. And so what are the healthier alternatives to white rice? Of course, we're always gonna go brown rice, um, wheat bread, uh, whole wheat pastas, rather than you know just white rice or white pasta or breads. So look for whole wheat products, uh, brown rice, wheat bread, whole wheat products, because they contain not only a lot more nutrients, but a lot more fiber. The fiber is gonna help you to stay um, uh, satiated, makes you feel full a lot faster, but also it's way better for you, especially if you're trying to lose weight. Another thing we do is when we're baking or we're trying to make things, we also go with um, uh, grain-free or gluten-free products such as coconut flours. We use um, yeah, coconut flours and almond flours and nut flours and things like that. So those are healthier alternatives than just relying on the regular white flour, uh, white rice or white bread and things like that. So look for those options. Um, also, when we're trying to get healthier, sodium is a big issue here in Guam. Sodium, sodium contributes to a lot of high blood pressure. So the alternative for that, if you're using a lot of salt, right, especially in your cooking, always look at flavoring your meals with other things besides a lot of salt. So fresh herbs, fresh spices uh, will add a lot more flavor to your meals. But if you are looking at marinating things and using soy sauce, the alternative for us is to use coconut aminos. Coconut aminos is a good substitute for us because not only is it very low sodium, but the taste for me is a lot better. It's a little bit more mild, uh, a little bit of sweeter than uh, soy sauce, but the sodium content is three times less. That's a lot of sodium we're taking out of our meals, especially if we're trying to marinate meats for barbecues and things like that, or making finadeni. Right? So coconut aminos, three times less than your regular um, soy sauces that we have out in the, in the stores. Another thing that we will substitute is milk. Now, if you're like me, you're lactose intolerant. So I don't usually like to drink milk just because my stomach gets upset and I have all these issues later on. Um, so we use a lot of almond milk. We use uh, coconut milk. We'll use everything besides regular milk, just dairy-free options. So we go that route too. Also, it's less inflammatory, at least for me and for a lot of people out there. So if you're looking at ways to cut calories, 
ways to lower your cholesterol, ways to just eat healthier, especially when we're talking about dairy. I would go with um, uh, almond milk. There's also soy milk, coconut milk, and things like that that are just way better for you, okay? Um, then another big substitute. Whenever you start talking about diet, start eating healthier, one of the biggest contributors to weight gain is uh, is increased consumption of sugars. So how do we cut sugars, not in the sense where we're taking all of the sugar out of our diets, because our body still needs sugar and our body needs that sugar to be processed or to be broken down into carbohydrates, and our body uses that for energy. The thing that we do here is we have sugar substitutes or sugar alternatives. We use agave. We'll always go for honey or fruit sugars just because it's more natural. Uh, we also use coconut sugar and we'll use alcohol sugars like erythritol, stevia, monk fruit, and things like that. The benefits of substituting your sugars is one, lower calorie, of course, but also a lot of times it's not going to have the same effect on your uh, blood sugar levels as regular sugar. It's not gonna spike up and it's not going to be as elevated as it would be if you ate regular sugar. Now, we have to think about ways to make our diets a lot more healthier. And finding substitutions like these are very easy. It's just a different change that you have to do. But you gotta think about that little change adds up to bigger lifestyle changes later on. And that's what we're going for, right? We're not going for diets that we will only use for maybe one or two months, drop a little bit of weight, and then we get off the diet, and then we get back to our normal, normal eating habits and we gain all the weight back. We wanna make lifestyle changes that will benefit us for the long term. So look at ways to make little substitutions, whether it's substituting your white rice for whole grain products, whether it's decreasing your sodium intake, those little substitutions will carry us a long way. It'll lead to bigger and lasting changes within our overall health. Our overall health is very important too because as we take a look at the landscape for health on Guam, we're not getting any healthier. We're trying to, but the, the diseases and health conditions on Guam are getting bigger for a small island. And that's a concern for us. So places like us at the Boca Box, we're always encouraging people to look at ways to make these changes within their daily lifestyles, right? Come in, we have, um, uh, alternatives within our meals. We use lots of fruits and vegetables. We use lots of alternatives to the meals that you're making already, but just in a healthier way. Uh, aside from that, right, another lifestyle change that's going to help you in the long run is looking at ways to get more physically active, whether that's taking 30 minutes to do a walk with your family or uh, 45 minutes to an hour of highly intensive workouts at a gym or whatever it is that you like doing. Be there, be active, and stay consistent with that. Um, other than that, you know, the, the other thing that we have going on for us is there we're putting out a new group wellness program. Now, this group wellness program is targeted at helping not only families, but people within their corporate scene to all get together and be healthier. Give us a call if you're interested in that. Our, our wellness program is six weeks long. It comes with meals for seven days a week and comes with pre and post assessments as well as um, nutrition coaching done by me and some of our other nutrition coaches. If you're interested, give us a call. We'll sign you guys up. We'll come down to your offices, talk to you guys about the things that we do within our business to get you healthier and the substitutions that we make within our meals so that you don't feel like you're on a diet, but you're on your way to living a healthier lifestyle. Um, besides that, uh, if you have any nutritional questions or nutrition um, topics you want to talk about or have concerns about, you're always welcome to come down to the Boca Box, talk to me, talk to our other nutrition coaches, and we'll gladly help you to figure out what works for you, making your lifestyle for you and not conforming your, your eating habits to fit some other diet, okay? Uh, other than that, this is... Uh, been a great, a great session talking about uh, substitutions. Uh, but um, next week, we're going to be talking about more lifestyle changes that you can do within your meal plans, talking about uh, exercise in general, what things you can do so that you can lose weight, you can start burning fat. We'll talk more about the ketogenic diet, and we'll talk about ways you can make keto work for you. This is Jess from the Volca Box, and we'll see you next week on the hotspot.